this conference we will now be recorded. We, we come under uh, customer communication management. So what exactly customer communication management do is uh, we, we do the composition of the letters and uh, we, we mainly do the composition of the letters and we mainly concentrate on the delivery of the uh, letters to the customers. So I'll, I'll just give you a, a basic example. What exactly? Uh, I'll just give you a basic example. What exactly CCM uh, will do? For example, if you have uh, taken any insurance or you have opened any uh, bank account, so what will happen? You will go to the bank and you'll uh, apply for, and you'll fill some form and you'll come back to the home. And uh, after one week or two weeks, you will get some packet of uh, documents to your home, right? So on the uh, packet which we get uh, from the bank or insurance industry is done by customer communication management. So once we give the, all the details to the customer, so they will uh, feed all the data into their system and they will generate the customer related information and they will send you the kit. So the main task customer communication management is to provide effective communication to the customers. It means the communication between the end users and the industry. For example, the bank and customers. And in the similar way, insurance and insurance companies and the customers, end customers. So what we do, we, we, we will be uh, in between the uh, insurance and in, insurance company and the customers. So this uh, CCM tools sit between the uh, insurance or banking or telecom any kind of industry and in between the customers so the end customers and the industry in between that we sit actually see uh, for example um, i'll just type here any kind of industry actually uh, open text uh, uh, extreme uh, is having a capability to uh, uh, is a, to handle different kind of industries. So we have different tools in the industry, similar kind of tools, which are specifically uh, targeted to the uh, particular industry. For example, we have a documenter, which is very uh, famous in the insurance industry. Similarly, we have Streamser, which is famous in oil and energy field. So different tools have captured different industries, but when open Text extreme came, it has entered into the uh, different industries. It, it is, it has captured insurance, banking, telecom, and different, uh, different, different industries which has captured, and uh, most of the these uh, industries are using Open Text Extreme. So, uh, so the uh, disadvantages of other tools, which are legacy tools like Papyrus, Streams, or DocuMaker, and some other tools are the DocX. So, all those tools has taken the advantage. Uh, Open Text Extreme has came into the industry so that it can support different uh, domains actually. So, so uh, you see, currently in the market we have GMC. Inspire, GMC Inspire. And the head. And the extreme. Main. These are the main CCM tools. Which are leading the industry currently. So most of the at least uh, 75 to 80 percent of the industry in the world, all the uh, insurance, banking, and telecom companies are using these tools, and they are migrating from old legacy documenter streams or papyrus and other tools to the new tools now. So the main concentration we we will be doing here is on open text so i'll be giving you uh, knowledge on open text 
Basically, I have a, uh, experience on Documenter, GMC Inspire, and um, Open Text Editor. So, in these three fields, I've worked. So, uh, hi, uh, yeah. Anil here. Sorry to disturb you. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I have been told that uh, this is going to cover uh, open text Vim also. So, open text? Vim, vendor invoice management. Is this demo is going to uh, have a, on Vim also or it's only on extreme? Only on extreme, only on extreme. No other extreme. Uh, I think I have that told is uh, uh, wrong B then. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no problem. You guys then carry on. I am going to drop off. I am looking actually for a vendor and vice management. Okay. Thanks, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Morning. Uh, yeah. So this is Javati. So are you going to teach the stream server? No, I'm, I'm only going to teach open text. And stream. I think open text have stream server expression and uh, extreme. So these two, three tools are now uh, with open text. So we we'll, we should not be getting confused. I am going to teach only open text extreme. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe stream sir, stream sir, and uh, expression maybe different tutors might take. I'm I'm only specifically told to you get your own uh, knowledge transfer on open text. Yep. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I have so a are basic knowledge. Cover, are you, uh, oh, oh, one more thing. Are you going to cover Empower details and all those things in the uh, open text extreme? Uh, first time, mainly concentrating on the basics of uh, extreme. Empower and all those things, so I think I need to check whether I can get that. Uh, theoretically, I can explain, but practically, I don't have anything to explain that. Uh, uh, theoretically, I can explain those things. I have anything to show you practical things. The basic things of extreme how to work on extreme how to get, uh, so uh, nowadays in market most of the uh, in extreme related uh, works are there uh, they are in depthly they are asking about the, all those questionings and re related things so yeah basic stuff means uh, uh, whatever the content you provided though those base scripts you are going to cover, right? Yeah, and so whatever you required uh, for the preparation of the interview, get selected that I can tell you. That is whatever we need to get into the industry, to get into the extreme world, I can help you. Learn. So once the uh, so open text extreme or anything, James Inspire or Thunderhead, or anything, you can't learn all the modules, you will not get a chance to work on it. Everything is like, every tool is like a machine. They have different different modules and not every company or every project will not use all the modules right? so what is our main uh, agenda should be first we have to learn about open text how it works and how everything runs so we should be very confident on basic uh, designer design manager and how the queues how, how the basic things runs so once that is that once that conference you get on open text session the next level will be the uh, empower thing the next level will be the uh, command center so slowly you can get into those things actually first thing is first you have to be very confident on the basic question definitely they will ask these questions then only they will next they'll ask you about the uh, empower and uh, command center related things but without asking a uh, basic extreme knowledge they won't directly ask you uh, did you design uh, empower forms and all those things once you are yeah. uh, experienced experienced in basic things then you can get into those things I think easily. Think center is uh, um or move from the open text extreme, I think. So instead of the command center, they are using the communication builder, right? Yes, yes. Oh. Yeah. So uh, actually, uh, I'm searching for uh, stream server and communication builder. Uh, not an issue. Well, uh, let's see the demo how it goes. Okay. So you already have experience on basic things. Yep, I, I'm having the basic uh, things on oh, experience on basic things on extreme. So actually, I specifically asked the you know, your team. Oh, I need stream server and uh, <coughs> communication builder. So, okay, so yeah, okay. so, not let yeah. let let yeah. me check the demo. And a couple of my friends are also joining. So let me check. So 
uh, I think you all, you might be having already idea, right? Like stream, how how niche skilling is. Very 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 niche skills, and most of the people uh, won't get trainings outside the market. You'll be having a good demand in the market. If you know one or two tools, you can prove the list. Because you should you should have at least a one or two tools. Not only extreme, you should know the uh, any basic uh, legacy tools also. Because most of the uh, migration projects, that kind of projects, they, they you'll you'll resume will get more weightage. So what what is my plan is I will teach you extreme. I will also teach you uh, basics of documaker, basics of inspire also if possible. So that you when you put into the resume, it will give you a definitely a weightage. Oh, GMC Inspire means uh, you are you going to cover the uh, how to generate a documentation document uh, uh, for end to end like uh, so at least a one document generation you are going to teach in GMC Inspire. Yeah, basic one workflow I'll explain. Basically. Just to, to oh, add advantage of this, uh, which if you learn only extreme, I don't think you'll get uh, that point. You'll get the confidence, but still, if you know the uh, in Inspire basics and uh, DocuMaker uh, basics, which I know, I'll, I'll share them so that you can put into your resume and you can showcase. Yeah, DocuMaker is the one of uh, is like Pickney Bus, right? Uh, so most of the companies are not using uh, in the market. No, so no, that is Doc. That is Doc One. PB PB One is the Doc One. That is different. Yeah. Uh, DocuMaker is from Oracle. Okay. This is different. Doc one is different. Mm -hmm. Smart communication. Uh, that is different. Yeah, that is uh, after Thunderhead. I think now it is called a smartphone. Yes, yes. I yeah. don't have knowledge on it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So this is just a basic, uh, a high-level thing. I just want to explain that what is this, uh, uh, where our industry stands and what Extreme uh, do basically how how. Why, why we are going to learn the extremes? Why, where exactly is it? It's a basic uh, thing. And uh, coming to the concepts which I am going to uh, discuss in uh, extreme is this. These are the things. Basic document life cycle, uh, dialogue and environment. Uh, extreme, earlier it used to be called as dialogue. Initially it was a dialogue action. So the dialogue was sold to the HP. So once that dialogue Tool was sold to the HP. It was called as HP Extreme, and after that, that HP Extreme was uh, given to the Open Text. So Open Text has purchased HP from HP. That uh, tool has purchased. So now it is called as Open Text. Text. So you don't need to confuse. It. Now it's confused anyway. Someone says dialogue. Now after that, it moved to HP. And after that, now it is open text extreme. So everything is same. So this is the uh, evolution of uh, HP extreme. extreme. Uh, I am saying every time HP extreme because uh, almost all uh, around nine years I worked in uh, HP. When it was in HP, so I worked on. So that's why my, I, I call it always HP extreme. Just two, three years back, it is moved to open text. So now it is open text extreme. This was the evolution of the uh, how, how it was earlier, it was right now, then it was called as education. Now it is called as open text. So, the concept which we are going to cover in extreme are these things. What is basic uh, document life cycle, dialogue environment, dialogue objects, which are extreme. So, instead of dialogue, you can as an extreme. Extreme environment, extreme objects. These are the concepts I'm going to cover. Basic uh, data concepts, design concept, based designing, and delivery, packaging, testing. Uh, we'll take some XML uh, sample and polymer file, sample input file, and how, how it works. Advanced mapping, uh, table designing, and all those things. Uh, basic examples we do. Component flows, how to create different components, what are the components. Flow, flow concepts, frames, and other things. We will, uh, by the end of this course, we will be designing one uh, basic sample of uh, forms, uh, having all the features, all the components, all the extreme related things, everything we use, we will 
we design slowly. Slowly we do page designing, documents creation, uh, sections and rules, uh, functions, how we do all those things we cover that. So this will be the basic training of HP Extreme. For advanced concepts, for advanced concepts, we have to uh, go for one more session where we'll be mainly going for this command center uh, knowledge and uh, uh, empower, empower of live. Live, uh, I can teach it. With empower, I didn't work, but uh, live related flow cycle, yeah. I can explain. And the command center, I can explain. Most of these are apart from this. And I'll also explain the basics of DocuMaker and uh, one basic uh, workflow of GMC so that we'll have a knowledge. This is, this is my plan, how we What is the version of Extreme uh, you will be uh, giving us? Uh, I might be giving you one version nine, nine, eight or nine, I think. Because uh, from version 16, I we worked on version 16, but uh, I can't uh, explain you all the things in this uh, on version 16. And so practical examples, everything we'll be doing on version eight. Will be similar all the ui and everything will be similar only thing is that uh, new features are entered into the uh, version 16 after version 16 after 8 9 there was directly a version 16 because it was moved to the open place so they directly kept it as a version 16 and from there and now i heard that it is version 20 is also available remember about that but uh, version 16.2 till that i've uh, i worked on version 16 i have idea and it is almost the same. There is no difference in UI and how we work, and everything will be same. Only few features, few search keys, few uh, keys which are implemented, new new kind of uh, things were implemented. I'll explain you on that. That's what exactly after learning these things, I'll explain in version 16 what are the new things they have introduced and how we utilize them. Those things I'll explain. If you learn these things. Can you, can you cover the clone concept? What concept? Cloud, we have it in 20, right? Oh. Which version we have cloud? Oh, no, cloud concept I cannot. Uh, I think from okay. 16, I think they, uh, cloud, I did not work. I not cover uh, cloud concept. Okay. But I think uh, I heard that the only very few of the companies are using clouds still, uh, since now they're slowly moving to the cloud. Maybe from past uh, one year, I think. It means uh, from past one, two years, even I am working on uh, GMC Inspire. So I moved out of Extreme and I'm working on GMC Inspire actually. So I heard that um, slowly these elements, uh, OpenText Extreme, are implementing cloud in uh, different companies. I heard that news that they're implementing this cloud uh, integration. So I did work on cloud. And this will be mainly helpful for the, this. This session will be mainly helpful for the people uh, who are just starting their careers in CCM. Starting their careers. So, the people who already have the knowledge on the CCM uh, might not help that much. It will give some, I mean, if, if you are working on any legacy tools and if you have not used Excel in the past four or five years somewhere, if you are stopped, then for those people also it will be helpful. And if you want to clear some interviews outside the market, for them also it will be. Do some practical things in your so not only theoretical, I'll also give you the practical sessions. Practice by doing practical sessions. I, I'll share the materials also. It will be definitely useful for you. Uh, can uh, how many people are there? And can you please give your uh, basic uh, uh, introductions so that uh, what experience you have on CCMs? So that based on that, I will plan. Instead of uh, teaching you the all very basics, I can uh, go as per that. So whatever and please explain exactly you have experience. Basic online. Not need to explain everything. Just uh, how much you know about CCM. Completely fresher, or you have some experience.
Hello. Hi. Hi, Anil. Hi. Uh, this is Ravi. Okay. So, actually, I have experience in animation, which I'm not, I'm uh, specialist in the IT industry. So, hello. Okay, fine. So, uh, so you're planning to get into this field, right? By learning yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, how did it will be? Uh, is it is it positive or not? I don't know. First, I need to complete the demo, so then I'll take the call. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we will uh, so Banu, Rama, and Ravi Kumar. So, you know, uh, so hear me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so shall we start uh, uh, looking into this thing? So, basic uh, development of life cycle of our. So uh, coming to the HP open uh, system, so we mainly have uh, three, three kind of things in it. One is uh, the main things are uh, design objects, delivery objects, and data objects. So mainly we will be concentrating on those things. When these three things comes under comes into one, then only we can generate the object. design objects, delivery objects, and data objects. Nothing but design objects. Pages, documents, sections, and paragraphs. Where we do the composition actually. And uh, when we open the page, and uh, when we uh, open the page, still we'll have more uh, uh, facilities, uh, more features to add the uh, different frames, tables, and all of that. It all comes under design objects, actually. So we'll be uh, concentrating on design objects first, how to design and all those things. And then the second thing mainly is delivery objects, sorry, data objects. I'll prepare the slides from the next session. So I, I did not prepare any slides here. I, I, I prepared long back, but I was got the slide actually. So design objects. In design objects, mainly variables, files, and some design objects. So design object, data objects, and delivery objects. This conference will now be recorded. These are comes these all comes under delivery objects. And still we have uh, a lot of objects, just a basic things which we should know. We have to uh, divide this uh, into three parts actually. 
first we mainly we'll be concentrating on the design objects then we'll be getting into the data objects then we'll be uh, working on the delivery objects when these three combination comes then only we can generate the so basic requirement to generate the output is one data file page one output so when when you create one uh, sample data file and one sample page and one output basic output queue so these three combinations it's a minimum basic requirement to generate the outputs in uh, edge tools. so this page comes under data object this data file comes under deliverables uh, sorry uh, this page comes under design object data file comes under data objects and delivery object is nothing but output queue when the combination of these three comes then we can generate the output in extreme so this is a basic uh, concept first initial concept which we should know yes so these three basic things comes only we can generate the output So main uh, uh, HP main extreme where uh, it will sit in in our projects. Generic uh, it's basic understanding. So where exactly our extreme projects will be sitting in any of the projects. So for every CCM, anything anything which is a thunderhead or any CCM tool, it's a legacy tool or anything, it's a new tool anything the ccm tool will be sitting in between upstream and downstream so if anywhere anywhere so if, when the ccm tool is there there you will be having a teams like upstream and downstream. So upstream is nothing but files which comes from the different systems like billing system. Billing invoice system. And different systems, different subsystems we can call it as different. For example, we can call it as subsystems. From different subsystems, we will get an input files as feed for extra and only it can work so the main uh, feed for the extreme is an input file so from different subsystems in the project we need a feed so like xml columnar delimiter so like xml columnar and del delimiter files are feed so we will be giving uh, these input files to the extreme and extreme within extreme we do composition we do composition and the next part is will be sending it to the downstream. Downstream is nothing but uh, like print centers. Print centers. Extreme is a multi-channel delivery tool. So it, it will be, uh, we'll be sending uh, our outputs to the print centers. Like for example, we can generate different types of outputs, PDF, XML as output also we can generate and still different formats are there so mail different kinds of outputs we can generate using hex based so this will be given to the uh, downstream so based on the requirement so if your uh, customer if your client is having print centers and if they request for the pdfs we'll generate pdfs and we'll send they request for afp outputs Generate their fees. 
and few uh, customers also required XMLs because these will be used as a uh, feed for the uh, SMS related things. So we'll be generating XML as output and we'll also generate email outputs. But I'll be teaching separate email concept. Container based concept is there where you can design email kind of output and we'll be giving to the uh, email subsystem, downstream subsystem like Spark post kind of thing. So where they will manage the email related configuration. So we will generate those kind of outputs. Using Xtreme, we can create different types of outputs to the customers. Every customers will have their own different requirements. So based on that, we have to generate the outputs. So main in Xtreme thing is we'll be having an upstream, downstream, where we'll be sending different kind of outputs to the customers. Upstream is nothing but where we'll be getting the input to the uh, X. That is the main thing in uh, Xtreme we need to understand. So where we sit. So we'll be getting the input and we'll be sending to the uh, delivery channels, different types of delivery channels, email, interactive, uh, archiving is also will be there, like uh, in documentum or uh, different archiving systems are there, right? The market. So we'll be sending those PDFs for archiving for different channels, so multi-channel. So Xtreme is a multi-channel, so where we'll send our outputs to the different channels. So this, this picture represents that we will get the input from the uh, upstream, and uh, in Xtreme, we'll be designing and we'll making the pub and everything and we'll generate the outputs and we'll send the delivery channels. This is the architecture of HP Xtreme. This is the, uh, where we can see the uh, engine, Xtreme engine. So we call it as Xtreme engine. When we run the engine, then only we will generate the output actually. So Xtreme will have an engine, engine based concept where we'll uh, run, run using some command, we'll, we'll uh, run the engine and we'll generate the output. You see here, it can, it can give the uh, outputs to different channels, like document and everything, and it can also connect to the web services. It will be useful using web services. It will come connect uh, to the command center where we'll do all the job job scheduling work and all those things. Still, we have different uh, these things using DDA connector. Actually, it will be connected for external systems. And within Extreme, we have two things. Designer and design manager. So mostly we'll be working in, the, in this area actually, in designer and design manager. So design manager where you can see all the objects which we can uh, work, where it will show all the hierarchy structure of uh, 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 components and objects which we have to build before starting anything. For example, like creating an application, documents, or anything, any design related things, everything. Uh, if you want to do first we'll be opening the designer from there uh, design manager uh, from there we'll be opening the designer so designer is nothing but uh, uh, output uh, based content which we are to develop that we do in the designer and the configuration part like the uh, input file uh, mapping and uh, output queues things and all those things we do in the design manager so these two main things we'll be learning in extra action designer and design manager so I'll be showing you later uh, practical sessions on how designer looks and how the design manager looks. Every time in Xtreme, we'll be creating a package file. So we'll call it as a pub file. So we'll generate the pub file and that will be given to the engine. And once engine runs, you will generate different types of outputs, PDF, HTML, RTF. So this kind of outputs will be generated. So how we'll be getting I mean, so how the uh, design manager looks and how uh, designer looks, all those things we'll see once we uh, see the tool. Basic uh, I'll show you as of now is how, we can, how it looks like. Basically. So 
So important terms, uh, mainly we have to know the in the extreme is application, uh, approval states. We have approval life cycle in uh, extreme actually. So we, we have to know all those things. Container objects, design group, design users, document, engine. So these are the terms which we use while working in, on extreme. For this package, page, workflow, all those things we'll be using these terms. So we should know about all these things. What is application? So application is nothing but where it contains all the basic design objects. So we'll be having an application. Within that, we'll be uh, uh, in, within that application, we'll be putting these three objects: uh, data object and design objects and delivery objects. Those three things we will put into the application and we'll generate the output. The application is nothing but place where it contains it can hold these three things and we'll create the pub using application and that will be uh, uh, the engine will be run extreme engine will be running and then we'll be generating out so main thing is application application and then so this way you can if you see so in this application we'll be putting these documents is an object data object delivery object and when this application is ready then we'll create the pub just clicking on the right click on the application we can create the package file and that package file will be given to the engine and uh, we'll be generating the output so in this way it will come actually so it's just a high level overview and so in detail we'll go so then we'll go with the designer design manager we'll open and we'll see how and all those things, how application goes inside the world, how the package file can be created, how the output should be generated. We'll be looking at those things in the next session section. So now, just I'm giving the overview how it looks and all this. This is a error structure. When you open the extreme, uh, you can see all these things uh, objects within extreme. I said that we'll, have, we'll be having the um, data files. Within data files, we'll have a lot of things like reference file, uh, auxiliary file, and report files. Those kind of all those things will be there in the data related things. And uh, we'll have a variable uh, dictionary where we can see the system variables and user variables. User variables we need to create. All system variables will be there. We we'll have an inbuilt functionality which will be utilizing in the in our works. And the uh, output queues where we'll be defining that what kind of output we have to generate. So we'll be telling this output within this output queue. We'll be setting the uh, things that it should create an output PDF or output AFP or output as XML. So those things will be configuring this output. Pages and documents is nothing but where we do the designing concept. So we can still clearly understand the things once we open the tool and we start designing one document, one page and uh, one customer driver file and how it gets mapping and how the output uh, queue is created and those kind of things once we start doing those things then we can still clearly understand the things how it goes is uh, first we'll be opening the design things provided uh, first we'll be uh, creating all the basic uh, sample test page and test document uh, test uh, variables test driver file and the test output queue and all those things, basic things we'll start creating. And post that, we'll be generating a sample output and we'll see how it comes. Similarly, in our projects, we'll be having different requirements to create the pages, create the messages, create the flow concepts, how to pull the uh, content from the external things. For example, if you have to pull some images from the uh, different location, then we have a very we have a concept called placeholder concept using that we pull the images onto the page. Those kind of concepts we'll see. So, page sections, paragraphs, all these things I'll cover. How it looks, how the, uh, even in extreme 16 version also, the same things. Same things will be there, same UI kind of thing will be there. And the symbols of section, paragraph, output, and all those will be like this. There will be no difference. You can work on uh, version 16 or 20, anything. The basic major work will be the designing in our uh, extreme. So 
major uh, words for any client who is designing from legacy schools to extreme, they will migrate and they will have these all design and If you are confident on working on designing part, definitely you can work on advanced concepts as well. This will be the basic concepts which we'll be covering in the sessions. Uh, in extreme, we have a uh, workflow process for every document. So every document which you check out and check-in concept is there. So you'll be checking out the object and you'll be working on that and you will be checking that concept and you'll submit for approval. So next, the approver will review the content and everything. And if everything is fine, he will approve it and it will, the objects will be approved and it will be sent for the public. But I mean, if we have a very big teams, like 20 to 30 member states, so different people will be working on different pages or different sections or different components, right? So all those things, one administrator will manage those things. And if based on that, he will decide which components should be moved, which components should be rejected and all those things. If it's added in that uh, workflow. We have a, a check-in check-out concept. It's called approval workflow. Approval process workflow is there. So basically, that, that is uh, while doing these examples, I'll explain the concept. Basic simple advanced workflow is also there, a basic workflow. Two types of workflows are there. So we'll cover them. So the symbols which you do while working on that, we'll see like this work in progress. This is a symbol submitted, it will look like this. So on the page itself, if you will, when you create the documents on pages, right? Uh, when the document is checked out, or when the notary is checked out, when the page is checked out, you can see uh, if it is submitted, if you can see this symbol. If it is approved, you can this symbol. When it is rejected, you will see this symbol. So this kind of symbols you will see while working on it. These are also very important. We will have a quick fix concept that also I'll explain. Personal numbering will be there. Itself have the internal versioning system for all documents and everything. So you can go back to the old versions and you can get the old content which were designed earlier. You can go back to that. If the customer don't need, he says that I want the old version. You can also check out that one and you can get that kind of. So mainly, uh, thing is uh, in the design of the data objects. What we do is we uh, pick the input file, and after picking the input file, like polymer file or XML file, we'll map, we'll create the variables, and we'll map those variables inside the data file. And those mapped variables will be kept on the document. So what are the variables you create? Input on uh, inside the data file will be mapped first, and after that, it will be placed on the document. So, content which is coming from the input file will be displayed on the document. So, while composing, we'll do all those configurations. So, when we start designing the uh, pages and all those things, we'll be having the paper types and all those things. Concept will come. We will discuss that. And we have one basic uh, hierarchy system on extreme in designing things. Uh, so, a group first will be creating a document. Within doc the document, we will be putting the pages. A group of pages will get into the document. Similarly, we will have sections and paragraphs. A group of uh, sections will become a paragraph. Uh, we have uh, another image. Sections, paragraphs. Pages and documents. Our concept is also there. I'll explain that also. So we will within this design. And we have uh, this style sheets concepts is there, design layers concepts is there. So different kind of concepts will be there. So just I'm giving only a basic overview today. So from tomorrow, what I'll do, I'll start uh, giving the session on how we start designing the things. Practical kind of thing I'll show. Maybe theoretical, I, I, you may not be understand all the things. Yeah. 
I am telling now. I'll explain you how we create the variables, how we create the document, how we create the. All the concepts which are accessible to tags, built in from the, all this kind of information I cover while doing the sessions. Currency variables, reference files, and of articles, addresses, and so on. Showing the practical things how we create the document. Uh, fine. So, uh, so I'm ending this session. So this is just a basic uh, overview uh, I've explained to you on the uh, stream today. So once we start uh, get, getting deeper into the session, we'll start creating the objects and we'll start creating the things then we we'll understand more clearly. So this is just a theoretical explanation I've given today. This is just a uh, basic what what is extreme and where it stands in the market, what exactly we do, where does extrinsic project, uh, what we give in uh, in input as a feed to the extreme and how the upstream and downstream will be there. So those kind of basic uh, information are in so before we start uh, extreme things, we should know all these things. So the streets, what are the competitors in the market? I have started with those things today. How to evolve? So what it is? Question. I think now it is twenty. Question is now seventh. Question. Because with extreme, it was still 9.5. Questions came And uh, the main uh, basic things. So we'll start now. An extreme is design objects, data objects, and delivery objects. So we'll start with design objects tomorrow. Probably we'll just getting the data. Will be our delivery objects. Once these three, once we are familiar with creating all these things, then we'll start creating a hub and how we have to insert everything into the application, how to generate the object.